everyone. It is May 19th of our hardcore carnivore $50 a week budget per person and it is Friday. So guess what you guys? It's weigh-in day. So come on, let's get this day started. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Lovey Knit on Keto. Today is Friday. We were gonna do a little date today, something. This is another dress that I got from Timu and I love it. It's absolutely darling. Um, it's an expensive one because I paid $13.62. Yes, I did for it. But I've been reading all your comments. This is the little dress. It's a heart print midi dress. Can you see it? Yep. I paid $13.37 for it, but you guys, it came, their, their products come all wadded up and I took it, I put it in the dryer for, with a, um, with a bounce thing and dried it for about 10 minutes and it's totally wrinkle free. I think it's darling. And it fits me, it's just a little, now this one is an XL 12, size 12 XL. And then the blouse I was talking about, which is beautiful and has great, it's great material, but it's an XL and it's humongo. It's huge. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's like fall off the shoulder huge. And it's their XL too, which is a, um, a size 12. The dress I wore yesterday was a large, which is a, a 810 or something. This one's just a little bit snug. You can't tell because it's ruched, but I love this dress. It's so cute. You guys, I get all I get dressed up because I thought, we'll go do something, go shopping, you know, just take a ride because it doesn't bother Harry's hip and he has his acupuncture today. And it started pouring rain we had like a quick really hard thunder uh storm it's didn't we harry for through. like 15 minutes and now it's almost dry and of course i have um better than flip-flops you know little cute sandals on so now i can't wear the sandals oh hold still there's a mosquito right on you oh get him stick him mosquitoes we'll are it. coming out i i can't find him now no. Sorry, folks, there was a mosquito flying around. Oh, it's that time of the year, right? But I put my red glasses on, put a little eyeshadow on, and now I'm going to have to change my clothes probably because it's raining. I or my shoes. All right. It's already dry out. Well, I have different sandals that I can wear. I just, this is so comfortable, and it comes in navy blue, black, and red. And someone said that I guess you can get an affiliate with them. You know, where I give you a code and you get even more off. But I agree with a lot of the comments. The mm -hmm. challenge is Timu we is going to be direct competition for Amazon. Almost all of the stuff, that if you've noticed with Amazon, there's very few made in America items. Not only anymore. Amazon, but almost Everywhere. every other country, every other um, we're company in the U.S. that is manifesting. We're having challenges because it's um, all being taken over by China. I don't want to get into um, political things, but I think that it is going to be a huge uh, competitor for Amazon, for sure. Yeah. And I will write to them and tell them about this, and somebody will love this blouse. I, I love it. I love the color and everything, but it's, it's huge on me. It's absolutely huge. I mean, seriously. Put it this way, if you think the prices are too good to believe, they're too good to believe. See what I'm saying? You know, buy with your conscience. See what I'm saying? It's just, it's huge. So, sizing, I just have to keep looking at the, the sizes and look through the chest. I'm narrow in the back, so that helps my chest a little bit. But it depends on the style, just like any other place, dress-wise. But I love getting inexpensive dresses for the summertime so I can wear them in the house. If I need to go somewhere, I can just grab my keys and go. This is super nice material. Um, you know, they don't finish the hems. They just, you know, they just whip it across and stuff like that. But for 
you know, six to $13, it, it's worth it to me to have something comfortable and easy, easy peasy to wear. So anyway, I will check into that. Ladies, thank you so much for sharing all the stuff that you guys have bought and stuff um, from there and giving us the information. Uh, they came right on time. They, they track their packages. They're like Amazon. I think they're very much going to be Amazon's huge competitor I really do the only thing I don't like is they smash everything together but so far I've taken everything I've gotten from them thrown it in the dryer and they just come out wrinkle free so anyway you guys I'm not sure what we're doing today I have out steak I've got hamburger I've got eggs I've got all kinds of good stuff like I said Harry does need to go to the acupuncturist today at 120. I'm not hungry. We had a, a construction person come over to give us a quote on our patio roof that we need to redo. And next week, finally, our shed is ready. They're bringing our shed and building it in the back for us where we need to have it done. And then all we have to do is paint it. So um, maybe we'll go look at paint. Maybe we'll go do something today. Maybe we'll go see a movie. There's a cute one out the book club too that I'd like to see. Um, I like that group of ladies when whatever they do, it's a lighthearted movie. Maybe we'll go do that. But I'll share all that information on the way. But thank you guys for sharing a little bit more information about Timu because I wasn't sure. And um, they have a lot of cute things on sale that would be easy to purchase and we always try to buy American if we can find it. That's the problem is being able to find it. They need to have a store like an Amazon or like, you know, a Timu, but American that says a made in America where we can buy things that are made in America. Anyway, you guys, we'll see everybody in the next segment. As soon as we decide what we're having to eat today, when we want to break our fast and so forth. I forgot it's weigh-in day <laughs> you guys I want to preface this by everything you eat or drink the day before sometimes two days prior medicine prescription meds inflammation over-the-counter meds for allergies all of those things can have a direct effect on your weight water retention weight gain weight loss and all those things so I want to share our weight for today. Where'd I put it? There it is. Yep, yep. Oh, it's driving me crazy. I need a cup of coffee. I have gone up two tenths. Harry thinks it's because I'm working out, but Harry has gone up five and two tenths well, pounds. Oh, I know what that's from. That's from His is pills. from, he is on, first of all, steroids, number one, will cause you to gain weight bar none and he was on a round a round of steroids he was on a prednisone derivative he is on muscle relaxers robaxin he is on gabapentin he is on vicodin for the pain and he is inflamed to the point where he was on a cane yes indeed he was now i have been taking benadryl one a night for my allergies, I can't take the allergy medicine that um, has uh, pseudofetamine or anything like that because my heart starts palpitating. It feels like it's going to jump out of my chest. So Benadryl is about what I can take allergy-wise. So I am not worried about it. This was more of an elimination diet. And sometimes on when you switch from low carb or keto into a carnivore realm, you can gain a little bit of temporary weight. I'm also eating more calories because I'm eating more protein and fats this month. So my body has to adjust to that new level. Harry has to eat several times in a day, small meals every four hours because he has to take medicine that absolutely has to be taken with food because it can rip your stomach and intestines to pieces. So he is eating more often, is not able to fast at all or give his body a rest by having an OMAD day or even a TUMAD day right now. So we're sharing all of this so you guys understand you know, why these things are happening. I did not do any um, fasting this week 
I don't think I have for two weeks. Next week, I'm gonna hit a hard fast, a, a, like a 36 hour fast in the week, and I'm gonna get back on to like an 18 hour, you know, routine or whatnot. It's been hard because of Harry needing to eat, me not having coffee, the stress of not having coffee, getting up in the morning and having a beautiful kitchen full of the aroma of a fresh brewed cup of coffee. Yes, I am bringing coffee back into my diet. I only had one day where I had a weird coffee headache. I don't drink that much coffee. When I do drink it, I have maybe, what, two mugs full, Harry, would you yeah. say? Yeah. And an occasional tall iced one out when we're out, and that's like a treat for us because they're expensive. But um, <laughs> we were in Sprouts to buy Sally's dog food. You know, she's on the just chicken, rice, and broth. So I went there, and they've put in a coffee bar of course, I'm, I'm honing in on the coffee everywhere. It's like a radar. <laughs> and saw people getting coffee there. So I think once I'm done with this, I'm going to try their coffee. It smelled delicious. I'm going. <laughs> I'm over in the deli and I look over and I'm going, wow. Where they had their food buffet, their, all the foods and stuff at the very end. Now they've got a coffee bar. Yeah, they do. Safeways has a Starbucks inside, so you smell Starbucks there. Everywhere I go, there's coffee, 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 coffee. Yes. So I just have to calm down. I know. Today's the 19th. I have one and a half more weeks to go. Yes, I do. Before I get my coffee. And I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to have a coffee celebration. Celebrate. Yes, I am. With coffee. Anyway, sorry, you guys. I know. I go crazy over stuff like that. But anyway, I wanted to share our weight. That's where we are at. I also started exercising um, two days a week. And on Tuesdays, I'm not only exercising with a trainer, I'm also doing my Tai Chi, which is an hour. So anyway, I wanted to share that. Um, I can't go into the acupressure room, acupuncture room where Harry goes because it's a community room. They have how many... How many chairs, recliner chairs? Looks Six? like about, no, it looks more like about uh, eight. Eight, and they play the music and have the soothing, you know, uh, oh, Yeah, music. I can't handle it. So, so I sit there and, and listen to, like, stuff on or play games. With needles in his hands, his feet, and his head. So yeah. it's an hour-long thing. So I've got to get him so there. So like Harry the Porcupine sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, you guys, that is at 120. So we're going to be gone for about an hour before that. So we may eat late today other than Harry eating. He still has hard boiled eggs. Oh, you're down to one. Yep. And you've got hamburger and you've got chicken. And you've got to eat this turkey, ground turkey that I got okay. out for you. So he's all set. I'm not hungry. So you guys, we're going to go out and about. It quit raining, so we're going to go see what the day brings, and if we can, we'll bring you with us. See you guys in the... Oh, one thing I want to ask. Did you weigh in today? Do you weigh in once a week? If you did, and you're doing this carnivore challenge with us, are you losing weight? Are you staying the same? Do you find that you're upping your intake with your protein with this? Because as we get older, we need to up up our protein levels higher than if we were younger. Just so you know, we should be eating at least probably one gram of protein per lean pound of body weight. So my lean body weight's 120. That means it would be my body with, with nothing but bones and muscle. And um, so I need to be hitting that target if I can. But this month I am not measuring, I'm not tracking. Next month I will because I want to track next month when I start adding stuff to see if it has an effect on me one way or the other. But this month was a relax, don't track, just eat these foods, you know, do the best you can, eat when you're, eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full for me. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been awesome because it's allowed me to relax this month a little bit. Just relax, I'm not, I'm not, worrying so much about what's on the scale as just going through this for 31 days 
to see how I do and then I will start tracking I will start narrowing things down and all of those good things and I'll share where I'm at tracking wise next month with everybody anyway let me know are you doing carnivore is this a switch up from your keto life from your uh, low carb life how are you doing or did you gain some weight this month because you of the change or have has that knocked you out of your stall that you needed let me know in the comments below but you guys see you in the next segment yes indeed I kind of wondering if you wouldn't mind uh, doing the bacon because my leg's killing me, man. I gotta go sit down or at least try. Sure, no problem. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna, let me know when it's you got it in, will you? Okay. Yeah, go do that. Go sit down. Please. Oh yeah, making bacon. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. I know I use this paper. Where is it? I'm see up here. Got it. That's what I need. did it. Time's right. Degrees are right. Amazing. Just amazing. Note to self, Harry, never leave Wendy alone with your camera. Yeah, she's got my settings all up all weird. Well, I thought I could film and make him proud of me while he was gone to acupuncture. He could had to leave because the bacon wasn't done yet. So I tried to turn it on and tried to turn the mic on, and then I look in the camera and it says no SIM card. So then I turn. I thought I turned it off right. I, I, I may have pushed another button or two trying to turn it off and then I, I put it over there on the counter and then I filmed my food with my phone. So you guys will see I poached four eggs right here and you guys I was on autopilot when I grabbed the pepper, not thinking, I put it 
right next to this and I grabbed salt and pepper and didn't even think about it until I was filming it and thought, great, I got pepper all over everything. I wasn't supposed to use pepper this month, so my bad. I was on autopilot. I'm so used to grabbing seasonings and stuff. It was delicious. Yes, it was. But I had my poached eggs cooked in my broth just a little bit. It, they came out perfect. I was amazed. And then I had four, mm, five pieces of bacon. Yes, I did. But Harry's back. So I'm going to cook him something. But we're going to insert what I had to eat right here. You guys, Harry left for his acupuncture. I had to stay for the bacon. And he took the card out of the camera. I poached myself four eggs and I am having four slices of bacon. These, this is my second bacon, but you guys, I am loving my poached eggs. I poached them in broth, put a little broth in with them, and I did use a little bit of pepper because I love pepper. So you guys, pepper, salt, pepper, and it's absolutely divine. But that's what I am having to break my fast while Harry's at the acupuncturist. Have my bacon in layers. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes, indeed. And I've got some brand new delicious um, bacon grease. And this is the pan. So I have got some egg drop soup to eat after I eat my poached eggs. Absolutely amazing. But you guys know what that means. Gotta eat now. Now it's Harry's turn. I've got a little bit of butter, a little bit of bacon in the pan because I'm going to make him a, a uh, carnivore hash with ground turkey and eggs. But first, he's out of hard-boiled eggs. So I've got the eggs in the pan and I just put a little bit of salt. Salt's supposed to make the water hotter. I know it sounds weird. Boil hotter. That's what I was told. Don't know if it's true or not. So you those put it are, in there? Yep, I put it in with the uh, hard boiled eggs. Now, I'm gonna turn this on and get this all melted. Yes, I am, and I'm gonna cook him um, this, ham this uh, turkey meat that we defrosted that needs to be eaten. There is the ground turkey, which is very lean, so I added enough fats in it to make it taste delicious hopefully can i have a little more butter you're gonna have butter on it at the end oh okay i thought we would do that how's yeah, that sound sounds good i don't want this flipping out of the pan so we're we gonna get to go see a movie yes we're gonna go see the book club the new one oh really book club part two where they go to europe yeah, i like those guys it looks those cute girls. looks light-hearted just something to do and we got the matinee prices Love it. So we got to be there at 3.50, So as soon as we're done eating, we'll head out to the movies. Yes, we will. So I'm excited just to get out and see a movie. And you guys, <laughs> Harry's right. It doesn't even look like uh, we had a rain this morning at all. At well, all. It'll rain here at night and it'll be all dry within well, an hour. Well, last night it poured. We had thunder, lightning, heavy, heavy. Uh, windstorm. I always look out to see if we had um, palm fond branches strewn across the neighborhood. We just tell the neighbors, please just put them in our yard. The gardener will get to them and take them away. Harry wanted three eggs. Yep. Man, and I'm then he's having, all. and you're having bacon too. I know. I'm now having a couple of slices of bacon. Mm, well, I had five. He comes in and I he, counted them. I know. Harry. Harry comes in, peeks under the napkin, well, and then he goes, well, it looks like you've been busy eating. I said, well, I, I, I tried can. to figure it out. There was 18 slices in one and 19 in the other. Oh, you counted. Oh, man. You counted. I need a little drink. Fuzzy seltzer water. Just Safeway Select brand, or one of them. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it is. Yep. Select, which is Safeway brand. Just gives me some nice fuzzies. Get so, this cooked. What did you have? For, oh, I didn't. I wasn't here when you made yourself lunch. What'd you have? 
didn't you hear what I said? Five pieces of bacon, and that's it? No, and four poached eggs in broth. Oh, that's right, I heard that. Uh, you know, I found out something that muscle relaxer yeah. affects my memory really uh, Even bad. more so than what you oh already have gosh. issues with. Tell them. You, you told her, and she said, I can fix that with acupuncture. Oh, yeah. I said, acupuncture. I got this and this and this and this, and I need some brain, too. So give me some brain. She says, you mean memory? I go, yeah. She says, okay, I got a, I got a pin for that. She goes, boink, right into me. Like, <laughs> right into your brain. You did. She did your neck. She did your hip. She did your legs. She did your head. All by. Did you have Mary many in your hands? Yeah, I had about six in each hand. And then what about your feet? Yeah, six in each one of those at least, yeah. And then how many in your head? I think two. Oh, well, that's not bad. Well, I like... Small brain doesn't need a whole lot of pins. Okay. Well, look at my uh, egg mixture, my hash here, you guys, because I like leaving the yolk a little bit intact. I like the flavor of both. Don't you, Harry? Yep. I'll put this on this plate, and I'll get you some bacon. Ooh, you're going to have a lot of food. That looks delish. Mm -mm -mm. But that'll get you, carry you through the movie. Did you take your pills no, I gotta already? Take, I got to take one more. Can you move honey out of the way? Because I got to get this out of the here. All right. I don't like taking a gab of pen. How many bacons? Four? Oh, just give me like three. You had one when you came home. Yeah. So just give me like four. Okay. After what's left after you got to them. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> yeah. It was delicious. Yeah, five times two. We still have two layers, Harry. The bottom one is lacking. Well, I did not lack it. What do you want? Hickory, cherry, or? You choose. I think cherry is the best. I don't choose right. You for, choose the well, best. I think it's the best for eggs myself. That's just me. I yeah. just think that it's really good. Redmond Real Salt for the win. Cherry blend. Yes, indeed. So delicious. You want a little bit of butter on that, you said? Yep, please. That's why I, I kept the I think I know what's wrong. I think that you screwed up the F-stop. And, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. What button did I push wrong? Well, all you got to do is push this top one, and it puts everything out of whack. This, there's two buttons here on the top. Oops. I don't like the way they put the buttons on the top at all. Well, that's what I pushed. Here you go. This is what Harry is having. Delicious. Hetty. Hetty is having. Hetty. Hetty is having carnivore hash made with turkey meat and bacon and a dollop of butter on top. Yes, indeed. What do you think, Sal? Anyway, you guys, Harry has to eat now so we can go see our movie. See you guys in the next segment. By the time Harry eats, it'll be time for us to leave for the movie. So you guys will come back and maybe I'll give you a little movie review. Yes, indeed. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. Harry's got to eat now. Everybody, we are home and Sally has been talking the entire time since we walked in the door. Yes, indeed. Thank heavens for purse. Uh oh, I see a big piece of purse bacon. I think I'll give it to her for purse bacon. Yes, indeed. Now, I cannot confirm or deny I may or may not have had a sparkling water in my purse at the time and it may have been delicious in the movie. Yes, indeed. Now we went to see the book club, the next chapter, it was darling. It was fun, it was lighthearted, it was just one of those easy peasy movies to just enjoy. There was I, I no it. It was no super plot or anything like that. It was just a really nice movie, and we truly enjoyed it. We had a great evening out. Yes, we did. Sally wants to say goodnight, but before we do that, I want to remind everybody, if you have not done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell so you get uploaded every time we 
you get notified, sorry, every time we upload a new video, you guys, please remember to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally's all excited because guess what? Guess what you get? Can you say goodnight? No, you have to say goodnight. Can you give us a sneeze, please? Say goodnight. You guys, she is just so excited about getting a carnivore dog from Carnivore she really Press. Is. She really She loves these things. Beef and liver sliders from Carnivore. Sit down. Just wait. Okay. 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 <laughs> On your mark. Get sick. <laughs> she loves these things. She really does. Anyway, you guys, see you tomorrow. Cute movie. I suggest going to see it if you're looking for a movie this week. Transformers coming up in June. I'm super excited. I love Transformers.